Go. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell from the title, we're pigeon hunting today. And I say we're because Bobby's on his way. Not here yet. Uh, it rained just a little bit last night, so I got here a little bit early. That way I could check the field, make sure we could still drive on it, make sure it wasn't too soft, uh, see if we needed to you know, get a four-wheeler or something. But today, I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do pigeon-wise. Like, I'm, we're, gonna sh we're gonna shoot some pigeons, uh, but I got a few ideas and I'm not sure which one we're gonna go with. Bobby might have his own set of ideas, I'm not sure. But the old Festiva, look how pretty she is. But in here, I've got all sorts of stuff going on. Got the single shot, the cheapest shotgun I could ever buy. I got the very first shotgun I ever bought, which is an old 870. Uh, a cheap Stoger that I got. We got the 410 pump. We got the 20 gauge. We got the Benelli. There's even a contender hiding in there somewhere. I thought about doing a roulette wheel where every time I shoot, I have to spin the wheel and whatever it lands on, I have to use that gun for the next flock. I'm not sure exactly what will end up happening other than we will shoot some birds. It will be a good time and uh, I'm gonna enjoy myself. Well, Bob's here. Uh, we got all set up. If you guys don't know who Bob is, I'll introduce you to him here real quick once I get down to the spread. So we have like five or six dozen full bodies. These are all Bobby's decoys. Got some dive bomb silhouettes. There's our mojos. I got a couple flock of flickers. Now, I know you're gonna ask, because every video that we do with these decoys, a bunch of guys always ask, where do you get pigeon decoys? Uh, these, these full bodies here, they are wing king and they don't make them anymore and the other company that did soar no more doesn't make them anymore i don't know of anywhere anywhere that makes a full body pigeon decoy anymore but the next best thing and actually we're pretty dang good are these dive bomb silhouettes they're not really really expensive either but they come in an awesome little case they're really really good they're really easy to carry and you can put out a whole bunch of them and make it look pretty good. Now, you don't need these, honestly. The only thing you really need, that guy right there. You get a spinning wing decoy out there, you can shoot pigeons. You don't have to have all this mess. But it is a whole lot more fun, and it does probably work a little bit better, but you don't have to have it. Like I said earlier, if you don't know who Bobby is, let me introduce you to the man, the myth, the legend in his own right. Here he is. Frederick? Well, Fred. <laughs> Fred. Fred here is a stud. Oh, soft skin. Look at all that extra Look at that skin Dudley nose. He's just a big fat boy. But Fred here is, he's an awesome dog. He's, he's come dog. a long ways. You can even go back and watch Fred's progress yeah, on Bob's channel. Actually, you can watch his first hunt, which was a pigeon hunt. Me and Jordan only, just a little two man. Uh, last summer and it was like 98 degrees out. I thought that Fred might die that day. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't the best deal ever, but yeah. we made it work. See, and I learned my lesson, see? No, what? See, we even have water with us system. Yeah. Well, Bobby brought water, cause yeah. you know. I've learned my lesson. He's, he's got to figure it out. But if you guys like pigeon hunts, waterfowl hunts, turkey hunt, if you guys like hunting in general, mostly wing shooting, but if you like hunting, you need to go check out Bob's channel. Yes, sir. And it is Bobby Guy Films. That's it. And I will drop a link in the description below. <laughs> Make sure you go click on it. Okay, guys, so it's been, well, slow's not even a good word to, to say. Uh, it's been non-existent. The birds are getting to the field a little bit later than what we had anticipated, but I think I see a group coming. So instead of doing the roulette right off the bat, I think Bobby and I are both gonna be rocking our Benelli's for the first little bit. And then if the birds really start coming consistently, then uh, we'll get into that whole bit of fun. So, a little bit of a change of plans, but uh, we'll get there. Oh, yeah. These birds are a bit lower there, buddy. Yeah, they're... I like that. Oh, look at them get down. Everyone on camera's like, I don't see anything. <laughs> look, I'm watching on a five inch screen. <laughs> Sorry guys, it looks good from the blind. Oh. Us. That's great. Let them, let them yeah. We'll just rank them. <laughs> How about everybody just sit there? Okay. Those two got problems coming their way. Ready? One, two, three, shoot. Fred, sit. Fred here. Here. Fred here. Get. Oh, this. There you go. Fred. 
That is not the way that I really wanted those birds to go down, but we got two down. Hopefully the next ones behave a little better. Ooh, we, we have we have customers. Yep. Uh, Ready, smoke them. Both? Uh, sorry to snake your one there, bud. Oh, Fred bothered me. I heard him break and I didn't like it. If you guys like that, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Fred brought the one back, but he's in timeout, which means I get to go pick up a bird. This guy right here. Yeah, no band, but still a nice little blue bar. This hunt's not going exactly the way I thought it would, but you know. We're, at least we got a little bit more action. This is this is closer to what I was hoping for. Sorry we're not doing the roulette wheel today. Uh, maybe I can do that at the dairy. We're on another pigeon hunt that actually does like it's supposed to. But you know, not everything turns out the way you want it to. Maybe. Hey, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That guy likes it. Yeah, here we go. A little two pack action. I like Look it. Just stick it up here. Oh, here we go, boys. Ready? Shoot him. Oh! There you go. There. Oh, Come on. Him. Ah. Bob's got the new gun jitters. Good. I think I nicked him. I think I almost got a double on that first yeah, shot. I think I hit him up. a little bit, but no you know. Band. Hey, but we got a couple more to do it. There we go. Things are improving. I put a mouthful of jerky oh, in. Come on. Come over the top. You and they want to do it. The three pack going to stay on your side. Not cool. In school. Shoot them. Oh, hey! Oh, ooh. I think he shot over the top of him. Did I? Mm -hmm. I thought he was going down for the count. I thought he was. I thought he was going to hit hard. So there is a pair of pigeons that decided to go sit in the corner of the field. It's been a little bit slow. The big groups have kind of gone, either sat down or gone back to town or not here, basically. So I'm going to try and basically stalk this pair. They're just around this bend here. Got one. The other one come back. You sure did. You sure did. There we go. Gotta go back and get him. Gotta pick up my shells as well. This guy at the top of the hill started walking. Where'd he go? There he is. Hey, buddy. Sorry about your luck. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. They let me get really close, though. That was, that was a bad mistake on their behalf. There we go. Nice blue check. Darker blue check. Good looking birds. We have a, I think we have enough birds for a good catch we can cook now, though. So, the rest of the day, it is what it is. It was a hard scrap for what we got, though. This has been rough. Rough, rough day. The birds haven't liked it. I have no idea what's going on. Typically, they just always go to it. They don't care, so. Oh well, we'll keep on trying. We might shut her down here in a little bit because there just really isn't as much flying. It just isn't much going on today. It's the first day that we've had this nice and warm weather. That probably has a lot to do with it. But, you know, you don't know till you try. That one locked his wings up. He's coming down. And all right here, two on the left, two on the left. Oh, let's go do the same thing. One's in the decoys. <laughs> go. Oh my goodness. Oh, it blew him off. Go down. Oh. Miss, miss, and miss. Did you did you hit yours? Oh, he's destroyed. Oh, good. Here, Fred. Here. Poor guy. He landed in the decoys. I went for the high birds. Here. Here, Fred. Set. Set. Good. High birds. Smash he that one. Destroyed him. We're not going to put him on camera. No, he, he's, he's gone. Well, that wasn't the most exciting 
pigeon hunt ever. One was completely destroyed. Bob took a couple for his catch queen cook, which left me with about three birds to use. But lucky for me, I had some pigeons that I already saved in the freezer. So I got those out, but what should I do for my cook? I was like, man, I'm, I'm hungry for fajitas. And I have done fajitas before a long time ago, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have not seen that yet. So my favorite thing to do with pigeon is fajitas. And so I'm gonna show you how to do those. And uh, I'm gonna make tortillas because I haven't done that in a long time either. Okay, for tortillas, here's what I do. I got four cups of flour. I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, and then here's the secret ingredient, lard. This is actually homemade. Uh, we make it ourselves. It's just rendered pork fat. And you need uh, two tablespoons of this. The first thing you do is put everything into your bowl, get that mixed up really good. And now I just work it in with my hands. You could probably use a mixer to do this, but uh, I don't know, I just kind of like doing it this way. And you want to work it in, it kind of has, I guess the best way to describe it is kind of like a corn flour texture to it. So you want to work the lard in until it gets to about that texture. Now, if you don't have lard, you can use Crisco or something like that. It is not the same. It'll work, but it is not the same. So now that we've got the lard worked into it, we need to put in, we need to put in a cup and a half of water. And I like to add a little bit of pepper right now. Uh, why? I just like a little bit. I normally don't do it when the kids are home, uh, but I'm going to today because it sounds good. But as soon as I get the pepper put in, just a little bit, I'm not even gonna measure, it's just a little dump dump, you know? Uh, and then we'll get the water put in, mix it all up, and it, it will make a dough. Got a little black pepper in there. One and a half cups of water. Now for the messy part, gotta work this in. It's almost ready. Gotta work it until it's nice and all mixed up, right? But we are getting there. Got my dough all kneaded up and stuff. Get yourself a nice size skillet, and you want to turn that sucker up pretty high. Go ahead and flour wherever you're going to be putting, wherever you're going to be rolling out your tortillas. All right, I like to put some on my hands as well. And I just rip off a pretty good sized chunk. And remember, tortillas, you got to smush them out flat, so, you know, don't get too big of a chunk. <laughs> All right, make yourself a nice, uh, that's a little bit more than I want. Make yourself a nice size ball and get to rolling. Once you've got it nice and rolled out, whoops, don't want to lose that. This one's a little bit on the thick side, but it's been a while since I made these. That's not quite hot enough yet. Let's go roll out a couple more. Now that my pan is sort of, it's a uh, yeah, medium, medium high heat. You want it pretty good and warm, but not like stupid scalding hot. Go ahead and drop your tortilla in there. You just, it's gonna bubble and stuff like that. You just want it to get nice golden brown. I mean, you guys know what a tortilla looks like. Make it look like that. And I did not make these thin enough. Make sure you roll them out real thin. It's been a while, so uh, this is a little bit thicker than what I wanted. Uh, let's see here. Not quite there, it's getting close. Let's see how it looks now. Ah, there you go, see it's starting to get some brown there. We'll just go ahead and put that, put it closer to a high heat. I didn't have it hot enough, so it's not doing what I wanted it to. Uh, it's also quite a bit thicker than what I wanted. Oh well, next one will be better. There we go. That's, it's a lot thicker than what I should have had, but once you get them done, find yourself a towel, cover them up, keep them nice and warm. And then do the next one. I'm gonna be cooking on this here fire pit that my uncle made for me. Isn't that nice? I have onions, peppers, poblano peppers. I found a pineapple on discount. Your boy loves discounts. And of course, my pigeon. Now, I seasoned the pigeon and back sealed it in fajita seasoning. I did that all at work because, you know, I like to save time. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the veggies. Put them on my fire pit and get this party started. Yeah, if you do not grill your veggies, you are missing out on what fajitas are all about. Um, I just like to season them a little bit with whatever you got laying around. Just give it a little bit of extra. I'm using my jerk seasoning. I oftentimes use 
garlic salt and seasoned salt. It works really good. Pull your onions with, they got some nice little color going on. When your peppers get blistered. Perfect, grilled vegetables are the best. Now it's time for the pigeon. There we go. I got my pigeon all pulled here. I like to put a little on the medium side. Medium, not quite medium rare. Uh, yeah, that's the way I like it. All right, chopped up my peppers, my onions, some of my pineapple. Still gotta chop my poblanos. Got myself some of the pigeon cut up. I got homemade salsa, sour cream. I'm gonna get a tortilla, and then I'm going to go to town on this stuff, and I'm excited. And here is a couple of tortillas that I did a little bit later on. Ones that you didn't see, because it took me a little bit to get used to it again. Uh, yeah, roll them out really, really thin. That was the key. Get that pan nice and hot, and they go pretty quick. I like to put a good line of sour cream, put some salsa on, ooh, that's, that'll be all right. Smear that on. Now I need some pigeon. That might be a little bit more than what I needed. Put some onions on there. Peppers. And I normally don't put fruit in here, but hey, I like pineapple, so we're gonna do that. Doesn't that just look all right? I think it looks all right. All right, let's give her a taste. Doesn't hold together quite as well as a botan one does. Mm -hmm. Hands down, one of my favorite ways to have pigeon. Would you shut up? You shove it. Anyway, hands down, the best way to have pigeon. So good. I recommend it. 10 out of 10. You guys need to try it. And if you do, let me know. But anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button for me. I would really appreciate it. And if you guys are new to the channel and you like what you see, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. it helps the channel grow. And it, I mean, makes a difference for me. And I hope you guys come back and see me on the next one.